Hey guys, it's me, Jay Sage Jira. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you guys so many new Nogu slime recipes to make slime without any glue, and I'm also going to be testing all the new Nogu slime recipes that came out this week. Notification squad shoutouts of today's videos go to Night Plays Games, Nala Slimes, Carolina, and Naomi Sanchez. So if you would like to be in my next video and get to be on the screen, all you have to do is comment down below notification squad after you have clicked the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. We need to be doing different giveaways every week, but this week I thought I would give away 100 slime packages. Two different types of slime packages you can win. You can win a slime palette that looks like this. Each week there will be a different type of slime palette that you guys will be entered to win. I'm going to be giving away a bunch of these slime palettes. This week's slime palette comes with with rose gold putty, iced coffee slime, water slime, blue clear slime, ultraviolet slime, and neon clear slime. I'm also going to be giving away a bunch of slime packages that look like this. It will have a big clear slime in it and a little note on the back from me. If you would like to win your very own slime package, all you have to do is follow the rules in the description. It will be the first thing there and you just have to watch this video till the very end. You must follow all those rules to enter and I will be checking to see if you follow them. The first no glue slime recipe I'm going to be sharing with you guys today is a recipe to make thick, clear no glue slime. I recently discovered this and it is so amazing and satisfying, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the recipe. The first ingredient you're going to be needing is Suave Kids. I picked up this crystal clear one from Target. It is perfect for making clear slimes and it is actually grape scented, which smells so good. I'm not sponsored, but I think this shampoo is actually really good for making slimes. The next shampoo you're going to be needing is the Pantene shampoo. It's just their classic clear shampoo. It's it's also just like the thickest clear shampoo ever, so we're going to end up with the thickest clear slime ever. Then I just mixed everything up, and I know I'm using this word so much, but it was already thickening up like crazy. And then I just activated it all off with a bunch of salt. It actually kind of took a crazy amount of salt because I did use two bottles of shampoo to make the slime. You can see that the salt just pretty much activates it right in front of your eyes instantly. And you can actually poke it at this point without it sticking to your fingers. But I ended up letting this sit for about two weeks to clear up. And it got so thick from drying out and it was just so amazing. So I'm going to show you guys all the poking clips now. And I'm going to stop shocking so you can hear the ASMR. I'm gonna pop in here really quickly to tell you guys that my family and I have started our own family vlog and this week I went really crazy and I pranked my mom by covering our couch in slime and it was so crazy you guys are not gonna want to miss that video and if you watch that video till the very end I will enter you to win one of these slime packages. The next slime recipe I'm going to be trying out is foam plate slime. I saw this in a YouTube video and it looks super cool so we're going to be testing it out to see if it actually works. In all the videos, they show them using a styrofoam bowl, plate, or cup, so I just use these styrofoam bowls that I picked up from the dollar store. In the video I watched, they actually used a styrofoam cup, so I hope the bowl does the same Basically, thing. I just ripped up the bowl and put it into my other bowl, like they do in all the videos. Of course, I did as I always do, and I added some food coloring and some glitter. For the moment of truth, we're gonna see if this actually worked when we add in the nail polish remover. At this moment, I started realizing that this recipe was not gonna work for me. I was noticing that it basically did not change in texture at all, and I thought it was because I added too little nail polish remover, so I took out one of the pieces of the styrofoam and I just soaked one piece, but I noticed that the nail polish remover was actually doing nothing to the styrofoam. Oh, you guessed it, it was unfortunately a fail. Okay guys, get ready for your mind to be completely blown when you see this recipe because this is honestly so crazy. No way was I expecting this to work. Weeks back, a fan page that one of you guys made for me on Instagram to a YouTube video that was actually from Taiwan where it showed how to make slime out of clean film. Watch it, my mind was completely blown and I was just so shocked, so I'm ready to try it out. Ask your parents permission to make this slime because you will need to microwave it and it actually can get a little bit dangerous. But to make this slime, you are going to be needing some of the clean film and also some water. A lot of you guys have probably noticed I do use bottled water in my video just so I can show you guys that it is really water and I have now switched over to only using box water because it comes in paper packaging which is recyclable so uh, this is not sponsored but if you do buy a lot of bottled water I would recommend you checking out box water because it's a lot more sustainable it is completely recyclable anyways let's get back to the recipe I microwave for 30 seconds and it really didn't do anything so I've just popped it back in the microwave this time for two minutes and you guys can see it is already starting to melt I'm gonna put it in for one more minute so we can see if it is completely melted but okay it's it's time to go check on it, so let's grab it. 
whoa okay you guys can see it's like white and it is like completely melted i'm gonna take this back to my little workspace and we will see if this turned into slime so as you guys saw it's pretty much the same consistency it still feels plasticky so i'm just gonna let it soak in the water because this water is pretty much boiling hot so we are going to let it soak and i will see if it turns into clear slime just like in the taiwanese recipe you guys can see Wow, okay, it actually is melting now from the boiling water. I'm just gonna keep letting this melt, but I'm gonna mix it up now so that hopefully the whole thing will melt. Whoa, do you guys see that? It literally just melted in front of my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna grab it. Ah! Sorry, it's like really hot, but you guys can see this is like a melted piece and it is like super slimy, but it is kind of hardening while i play with it so i feel like this won't be like a slime forever but you guys can see where the plastic actually is melting and mixing with the water it is kind of like slime. the perfect little container for this so i'm just gonna pop it in there and i will check on it in about a week and i will update you guys on my instagram story my instagram is jshdiy so go follow me there for that update Ever since you guys first requested me to make an ultraviolet slime without any glue, I've been perfecting my recipe, and so I'm so excited to finally share it with you guys today. The first thing you're going to be needing is an airtight container, so I just grabbed this one for my container bin. And the first ingredient you're going to be needing is a clear dish soap. You're going to be needing a dish soap that has a lot of glycerin in it, so check the ingredient list. The glycerin that is in the soap, the thicker the slime will actually be, so that is why I am saying this. Next thing you're going to be needing is a purple highlighter. Purple pens will work for this, but it can be kind of specific because it does have to have a specific type of ink. I'm not not quite sure what it is but open up your pen and take out the ink cartridge and then squeeze some of the ink into your dish soap and mix it up and you'll already start to notice that it is ultraviolet if you are using a regular purple pen and you find out that it is not ultraviolet you can put the ink cartridge back in the pen and it should still work perfectly fine next you're going to be needing a gel body wash it does have to be a clear body wash because of course we're making a clear slime if you don't happen to have a clear body wash at home you can try using a clear shampoo last step is leaving in the fridge overnight if you are using a clear shampoo instead of body wash i would recommend leaving leaving in the fridge a little longer because it might be stickier, but here is how the slime turned out after being in the fridge. I won't be voiceovering this part in order for you guys to hear the ASMR, but enjoy the clips. Here is a big batch of the ultraviolet slime that I made during the trial process of me perfecting this recipe. You can see how it really does have the ultraviolet finish in different lighting. After a couple days, my slime did get a little sticky, so I had to add some face masks, so that is why it is extra thick. But if you have some spare time and any of the ingredients that I showed for this recipe, you should definitely give it a shot. I showed you guys how to make a bubblegum slime on my channel for over a year, which is honestly so crazy because this is such an iconic type of no-glue slime. So I'm going to be bringing back the trend and I'm going to show you guys a brand new recipe. First, put a piece of bubblegum in a container and then add some water on top of it. Pop that into the microwave for 30 seconds so we end up with a bubblegum scented water. The trick I always use to make super neon colored slimes is by using highlighters. So what you can do is just take the cartridge out of the pen and then squeeze it till you can get some of the ink out and you'll end up with a super bright neon slime. Next ingredient you're going to be needing is dish soap. I use this Ajax one because it happened to be the exact color I wanted to make my slime. Then just mix it all up until it is well combined. To activate this, you're going to be needing an air wick. I'm using this six in one because this is the one that Hello Moffy always uses in her no glue slime videos. So I wanted to test it out because I never made an air wick slime before. So I sprayed it in there and you could already see that it was starting to congeal and turn into slime, but I needed to add some more dish soap because it was kind of too liquidy. Then I just put the lid on it and let it sit for, I think this was four days. And this is what it looked like. You guys can see it was very thick because of the dish soap and it left a bit of a residue on your fingers, but it was so thick that it kind of made up for the residue. This next recipe I'm going to be sharing with you guys is to make star avalanche slime. So for this, you're going to be needing star glitter, which looks like this. It's so cute. And then you're going to be needing coconut water shampoo. This is key for this recipe because this is like the best shampoo for making clear slime. So what you want to do is add some of your coconut water shampoo onto your stars and then mix it all up. You can add food coloring at this point if you would like to. I just added some orange food coloring.
you guys can see that the shampoo is so thick that it already is like touchable and you can already poke this and it'll be like slime but to activate this we're going to be using some cream of tartar so add some in and mix it up as you guys know cream of tartar activates over time so we will need to be letting this sit but what i'm going to do now is just transfer this into a new clean container and then i'm going to be putting some more coconut water shampoo on top of it so that we have the clear layer for the star avalanche slime and to activate the clear layer, you are going to be needing some more cream of tartar, so just sprinkle some on top and then mix it, but do not mix the stars in because then you will end up with the avalanche layer. Now pop the lid onto your container and let this sit for a couple hours so that the star layer will clear up. It will look like this, and this actually took more like a day than an hour. I thought it was only going to take a couple hours, but it did take a day, and you guys can see it is super clear, and I will show you guys how it turned out. In my past four videos, besides the Karina video, I have had a little tradition at the end of my video where I've mixed a random ingredient to slime to see what happens. So I thought we would continue that tradition today by mixing in these Orbeez that I picked up at the dollar store. Orbeez are actually used for like perfume purposes to like make your room smell good. And these ones are lavender scented, but I'm just going to be adding in this glue slime. It's just a clear slime that I made with glue and borax activator. I thought that I was going to mix it in, but when I started trying to mix it, they were just all flying out and none of them were sticking into the slime. Because they all have the perfume thingy on them, they're just all so slippery and they just don't stick into the slime as you guys can see. But what I ended up doing was I just put it in a little container and I let it sit for a couple days. So I will give you guys the little update now. It is four days since I recorded that clip and you guys can see this is the Orby slime I'm just currently packaging up some giveaway slime packages for you guys Orbeez did something weird to the slime where it made it super sticky I think it was because of the perfume on the Orbeez But it just basically got super sticky and the Orbeez did not stay in so much for watching this video I had a great time making slime with you guys and if you are new to my channel and enjoyed today's video You should definitely subscribe for new uploads I'm uploading all the time and if you are wanting to enter in the slime package giveaway Check out the description because I have all the rules in there just make sure to follow all of them and i will enter you to win one i love you guys so much and i will see you guys later today bye